What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Tom Dizzo here. I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, today, I'm gonna go over some of the pretty important topic. I've, I think I've discussed it uh, you know, earlier or like before, but uh, since I've been getting uh, so much, uh, uh, so many DMs asking about it, and also I saw some of the questions uh, from the weekend mentoring yesterday, so I thought it could be a good idea to kind of do this uh, in depth a little bit and more details so today's topic is going to be how to grow a small account and uh, you know before i even start uh, i just want to let you guys know something that growing a small account is probably one of the you know hardest thing that you will ever do in your life i mean at least to me you know it is hard you know when it comes to trading and you don't have much capital to kind of risk or to kind of trade and it, it's really hard it requires more you know than you think and but the good uh, you know the good side of uh, from this is if you be able to handle all that and to be able to grow your account from whatever amount you know 1000 2000 or three or five into i don't know 50k 100k or million the skills and the knowledge will stick with you forever right and that's a good part but you know, it requires a lot of work compared to those that who is, you know, having already, I don't know, like 30K, 50K or, you know, 100K. They can do more trades and also for you guys that are under PDT as well. I'm just fortunate enough that I'm not a U.S. citizen. So, you know, I can trade freely from uh, offshore brokers. Uh, you know, that's, you know, one of my advantage. But for those us who are under PDT, it's it's really hard. I I completely understand it. You have to be a sniper every day and, uh, you know, trying to grow that uh, account with less uh, trades uh, in, in a week. So um, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the key points here. And, and also I will, you know, go into the details about the setup. One of the most, uh, I mean, one of the two uh, setups that uh, I used to grow my small account was the low hanging fruit and the death line. So I'm going to go over that today. Let's go uh, through some key points here. If you want to grow your small account, right? You need to have a foundation. It's like uh, when you're building a house, you see a huge house, uh, you know, big mansions like Bao explained. It comes really from, you know, in the beginning, it's like brick by brick, right? The same thing here. If you want to have a 100K account or a million account, it needs to start somewhere. It needs to start from 10 bucks, 100 bucks, 50 bucks, so, right? And that's the foundation. It's not about how much you make in a day. It's, it's, it's not about how much you, you make, but how you make it. And um, I think Bao is uh, sending, a, I don't know, um, have, have a video on that. The, the the short video and uh it's it's really about how much you can make uh if you can do that uh consistently it's uh, it's not the profit uh but how you made that determine your success as a trader making one big pnl you know doesn't mean shit i mean but learning how to make 100 a day consistently will change your life forever so that's basically the point i'm, I'm trying to make here the foundation what is really the foundation I mean, it's the edge, the pattern you see day in and day out. And uh, to me, my foundation or the two, the one that I use the most to, to be able to grow the account is based on these two setups and yeah, proven data. And like, you have the outcome of, uh, you know, if, if you trade them uh, day in, day out, you can save it somewhere. I mean, Excel sheet or anything um, to back tasks and, uh, you know, write down everything. Um, 
that you need for the future reference. But uh, the two setups I use the most is the low hanging fruit and the deadline. So uh, I'm going to go over this. How can you define a true low hanging fruit? And this question, uh, it's been asked uh, yesterday in a weekend mentoring as well, and how to scale into those lines, how to size up and, and, and everything. So um, first of all, you need to define what is the real you know low hanging fruit right and we have tons of videos on that uh in the mic archive uh in uh, videos but to me the low hanging fruit is the one that move it was like uh hot chick i mean the low hanging fruit is really a broad term but uh you need to define which one is the true one right the true low hanging fruit that you can trade off so to me, for example, uh, Blin, right? B -L -I, uh, B -B -L -I -N. Yesterday, Friday, sorry. It went up, you know, huge. It basically, it was a hot chick, right? But then SR, uh, SRNE came along and, uh, you know, took over the attentions and everything. But the point here is Blin is, is going to be a, a true low hanging fruit on Monday because it had a move on Friday you know good volume everything and it already died yesterday uh, from Friday and so we want to see something like this prior day before that had a huge run right trap all the longs here and then dies off right and basically the stock is dead and what we're gonna do uh, on Monday is we are trying to shot into that pops because all of this you can see here those are the baggies right we, we want a stock to be kind of dead it's already dead on friday and on monday we want for the stock to pop back into those levels because of the baggies here they probably will sell it like they will sell into every pop and that's the thesis of the low hanging fruit right but it has to die but on something like srne had a huge move on friday right but you can see here it hasn't died off yet you know maybe this is the support this is hasn't broke yet this one i mean the the stock is you can if you draw a trend line here you can see the stock is still uptrending right look at this stock is still up trending you could say it's a low hanging fruit but it's not the true one it's not the one that it's going to work because stock hasn't died off yet but Blaine, it's already broke this support right you see this is the major support right here has some right here as well yeah i could say this but uh this is to me it's more like a true death line and uh, yeah we're gonna go over that but basically on monday i'm looking to short into the pops and here is the key line that I, I just drew and you know the best case scenario it's gonna pop to this line or i'm gonna scalp from this line as well you can draw a line yourself into i don't know like this line pretty important for me and basically or you can use the pivot uh so i'm i'm, I'm gonna use that uh, those are the key lines uh that i'm going to short into i mean you can plan your trade based on that uh, on monday and uh, just use uh, you know if you draw a line here you can see it's it's clear this line you know 1.8 or this 184 whatever that's that's the key point for when uh, it comes to define a real low hanging fruit right we want something that had a huge move on the day before good volume you know and dies off already it has to die it has to be dead to be able to become a true low hanging fruit in the next morning or the next day if it this one is still strong yeah you could say and you're still low hanging uh, low low hanging fruit but it's not you know the real one that we're looking for we have a lot of you know videos talking about this so yeah so that's uh that's the uh, low hanging fruit and the second one here i'm trying to show you guys the death line it's a term when the stock breaks the major support or if you want to look for a true death line it has to be the last support of the stock i mean b l i n to me the true death line is under this line 147 right i mean you know once it's under that it's over for long as the stock develop you know throughout the day you can see 
the major support is from this line right it dips here in the pre-market and one this broke i mean to me that's you know more a death line compared to this because this is the true one but there's not much meat left you know 1.5 here you can get i don't know like 1.3 like 20 cents out of it max but as you can see here you know when this line as well this is a support as well once it broke this but this is the key line this is the major support once it cracked that it never came back and to me that's more like the secondary death line that's um, what I like to use as well but it doesn't have to be a true death line uh, but if you want to play it safe you know really safe uh, you know com like uh, a probabilities uh, kind of game if you really want to play it safe you can wait for this to crack but keep in mind you have to make sure there's enough meat left on the way down right to me this is you know a true deadline but there's not much meat left so i'm not even interested but if this is the last support it was like here then i would definitely wait for you know a true deadline to confirm you need to uh, figure out the meat of the move as well left and also guys the death line only applies to the day one so hope it's helpful and i uh, wish you guys had a great uh, the rest of the week and uh, I, I see you guys on the next time take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here